Hey guys, it's Trish from Trish's Card Club, live from Orlando. It's Sunday night, and this is going to be a quickie because the Patriots are playing Buccaneers, and I don't even know who to root for. I'm all like, don't even know what to root for. I'm so excited. So I'm I'm trying something different because I want to be able to see you guys, or at least have you guys see me have a little facial um, exchange. And then I see you when you come on, I see your videos. Now, let me look to my computer for just a second because I got to make sure I'm on. So hold on a moment. Let me do that. Um, oop, I can bring you with me. I forget. My camera is not, it's not, um, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Uh, this is little catty wampus. I am, tr there it is. Okay. Hey, Miss Judy. Hey, Karen. Thanks for coming on, you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll get better at this. So what I'm trying to do tonight is do a video so you can see me, and then I'm going to flip it around so that it's not backwards like it was my last Sunday night video. So I hope you guys had a good week. Um, mine was good. It was a little bit tough. I, I, I think as I shared, my brother-in-law passed away quite suddenly, and I went home for a sort of a memorial service celebration of life thing that we did. So, oh, thank you, Judy. Judy just commented that my hair looks great. Judy, I'm doing a live because I'm having a great hair day. That's the total, total truth, a great hair day. Plus, I want you guys to see the boxes in the back. My whole um, stamp shelf is gone. A lovely, dear person purchased it, and she's going to reuse it in her stamp room, so I know it's going to a good home, and I'm excited about that, but of course, I am a little bit sad. So I've got some boxes. I'm swinging around so you can see some boxes, and I haven't got a lot packed because um, there's just so much going on. Packing has not become a priority, but it will be after next week. It will be a priority, so keep praying. There's some challenges with the closing, as there always is. This is nothing... Um, you know, unusual about us, you know, a few things came up in inspection that they want us to fix. So we're going to have a, a couple people come out and give us some estimates next week and get this all wrapped up and hopefully still shoot for a closing on the 27th. So that's the house news. Um, I had a fantastic, fantastic lobster dinner while I was in Maine. So that was a wonderful part of the trip. And Hey, Anna bananas, my favorite sisters on the phone, although you don't have favorites. I mean, on, on the computer, you don't have favorites, but I have three sisters, so they're all my favorites. They're just three totally different, incredible women. So, all right, I've had enough. I cannot chat tonight, you guys, because we have a football game to watch. So I hope you guys had a good day. I am going to flip the camera around. I'm going to turn it down, put it in the stand and turn it down. So it's going to be shaky and kind of crazy. So I just ask for your patience while we do this so that at least I can do a face-to-face -face and then we can get to um, stamping. All right, so... Here we go. All right, now you see my stamp room. So I'm going to kind of cover with my hand, put the camera in. I have the camera going the wrong way. Uh, maybe I don't. Do I? I do. Now you're seeing my ceiling. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'm so sorry. Now you're probably seasick. All right, now I have it going in the right direction. Now let's see if I can get it straight. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I know that was, ugh, I practiced and everything and I still did it backwards, but alas, we're set up, we're in. Um, we're doing a shameless plug. Trisha, Trish Trishn.stampinup.net is my uh, webpage if you wanna go shopping. There's also card ideas and stuff there. Stampin' Up does a great job with our website. It's not my, um, it's not mine. It's all, I mean, it's mine, but it's really all their work. So you're welcome to go check that out. Um, I want to talk for a second. This is the bundle that we're using tonight, the Colors and Contours bundle, which we've done a couple of classes, but I haven't done this bundle in a while. And I love these um, dies that make all the different pretty decorative edges. And this card is inspired by Patty Bennett, who's uh, a, I think she's the number, no, she's not number one this year, but she's been number one many times in the history. She's been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for 20 some odd years. She sold over $2 million worth of product. So she's done an amazing job. So she inspired me to make the card we're going to make tonight. And we're going to be actually using Biggest Wishes. That's the stamps that we're going to be using tonight um, uh, to make the card with. And we're going to be using pumpkin pie, so saffron, and old olive because I needed to make some holiday, uh, uh, some fall themed thank you cards. So that's what we're doing tonight. And we're going to use the Stamparatus, but we're going to use the Stamparatus in a little bit different method than we might have used in the past. I'm not even sure if this is, um, I don't want to, I was going to say ethical. I don't mean ethical. I'm not even sure if this is how the Stamparatus was designed to be used, but it's what I needed to do in order to make this work. 
So I've used one of the dies and cut out a pretty piece of white paper, um, basic white cardstock, and I'm going to put the ma magnet at the end. I'm going to start with the, um, let me get my inks over here so I don't have to reach across on you guys. I'm going to start with the So Saffron, and I'm going to stamp up the word thanks, which is what's on there now. And the reason I want to do the stamp about it, you guys, is because I, I want my bold words to be nice and um, um, inked. How do I want to say that? I want them to be nice and bold. And so I wanted to be able to use the stamp apparatus in case I had to restamp. So that's good, but I want it to be really filled in. So I'm going to ink up one more time and then I'll restamp it. Okay, and then, so now I'm probably going to get the image that I really want. I want it to be fully crisp and filled in. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I wanted. And I know you guys can see that, so we're good. So typically in stamping, if you're doing stair stamping or step stamping, the next thing that you would do, I'm going to just clean this up a little bit because you'll see I'm going to change my colors. The next thing that you would do is you would lift up this, and you would move it down one hinge, hinge stamping, step stamping. And if you did that, as you can see, my thanks is going to be too close to that thanks, and it's not going to work. So what I'm doing is unconventional, but I am going to lift up my paper just a little bit. So it's not even going to be laying flat, but it's still going to be up against the edge. And let me see if I brought that up enough. Yeah. And it's still firm because it still has the magnet on it. And then I'm going to take Old Olive as my next color, which I love Old Olive. I love Old Olive. And I'm going to stamp that down. And I'm going to make sure it's nice and fully filled in. And if it's not, I'm going to re-ink it. And I don't need to because it's stamped perfect. Now I'm going to clean my Stamparatus stamp again. Again, very untraditional way to use the Stamparatus, you guys, but it worked, and I, it wasn't even hard. You just had to be careful and patient. And now I'm going to take the, the magnet off. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. I'm going to put the magnet up here, because I just want to make sure it doesn't move. And I'm just testing to see where that's going to land. And I went up a little bit too high, so I'm going to come down just a little bit, keeping it very close to the edge. Okay, and now I'm using pumpkin pie. Did I say pumpkin pie or only orange? You guys, I cannot remember. I mean, only orange is like from 20 years ago, and I still give it its wrong name, so I apologize for that. Okay, so now I'm going to do um, doing pumpkin pie. So these are really good fall colors. Oh, that came out perfect. So see what you guys, that's just using the hinge stamping uh, kind of untraditional way, but it got me pretty centered to the way the way that I wanted to get my thanks. So I'm really happy with how that came out, except I just put my whole stamp apparatus in my ink pad. So let me fix that. And then I apologize for the glare. I forgot to prepare you guys for that glare because I know it's awful. So let me get that off the um, camera area so that you don't have to deal with the glare. All right. Next thing we're going to do is I've already, I've already done. I've taken... Um, an old olive card base and I've cut another one of the rectangular shapes out of the contour dies and I'm going to put this right on top of it like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I forgot a stamping step. Never mind. I forgot one step. Thanks. Who am I thanking? That's the question. So let me fix that with black memento ink. I'm going to thank. I'm inking up and I'm going to thank. Oops. My friend, and I'm going to thank my friend, and I'm going to thank my friend. Now, when I first started doing this, I was thinking of stamping off the big thanks so it's not quite as dark, but you can't stamp off with a stamp apparatus, so that, that wasn't going to work. So that's fine. I love how this came out. I think it's very readable. So the next step I'm going to do is when you guys have uh, uh, your dimensionals and you've used all your inner dimensionals, you have this nice, big, fat outline. Never throw this away. This is perfect to use uh, in, uh, for uh, the purpose that I'm going to do. So I'm going to trim it, trim it, cut it in half, I think. I'll go halves. And then I'll turn this over and I'll do one back here. One up here and one kind of 
down the middle. So it 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 it, it won't warp warp warp. It won't warp in the middle. Not sure where the whopping came from. All right, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right here. Oh, you guys, I love the colors of this card. It is so fall. Um, and speaking of fall, I was in Maine in the fall, but I was probably about, there we go. Isn't that pretty, you guys? I was probably about two weeks early for the trees. There were some trees that were changing, but it needs about a good two more weeks for some look colder nights. And because the cold nights will help um, bring out the color, it's, it's whatever happens in nature. I don't, I don't understand it, even though I grew up there, but it's very, very pretty. So, um, um, I need it, it needs a little bit more time and then uh, a little bit more rain. I think the rain and the cold is what brings out those colors and they're amazing. So this card just as is to me would be perfect and it would bless the person that's going to receive it because it's coming handmade from my heart to a, a dear friends of mine. So, but I'm going to add a little bit more to it. I have some twine and I'm going to put a bow on there. I just thought, remember, I tell you guys all the time, every room needs a little bit of black in it. There's just something about grounding a room, a black vase, a black um, a picture frame, you, you, whatever. But every every room needs a little bit of black in it. And I thought this would pick up really good with the black text on the friends. So I'm going to uh, put a bow on there or try to. Um, I, they just showed a little while ago when Tom, I, I'm digressing. They just showed a little while ago when Tom came onto the field that all the Patriots fans cheered for him. And I was so happy because I would have been very disappointed in those fans if they had not been cheering for him. He brought them six Super Bowls and 20 amazing, amazing years. So the least they could do is thank him when he comes back. So I was really happy about that. And now it, I have to decide who I want to win. That's a whole nother story. All right. Why is this not working? I'm stalling for time because this is not, okay, that's good. This is what needed to fix. Okay, so I'm going to do a little, I'm doing a little bow. That came out good. Um, still, I think that the twine, if the twine was a little bit thicker, it might, it actually might look a little better. Let me see if I can fix this. All right, I'm being nitpicky. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to trim it, trim it. And then I'm going, now you guys, I am half packed. Over the next several weeks, only God knows what you'll be getting for um, cards because I, it, it's going to be very challenging to keep track of my of my product to be able to stamp. I'm going to do the best I can, but you may get retired stuff. You may get um, um, current stuff. I just I just don't know. I'm I'm going to do my best. So this is retired but we have the very similar black matte ones i just cannot get my hands on them at the moment so we're doing this one i just wanted to give it a little bit more dimension so i thought with the bow and some of the um, black gems it would be perfect so this is the card we're making for tonight thanks to patty bennett as i said she inspired me especially using the contour dies i wanted to show you this one i made another one before so i could practice and i just changed the base color now, I think I kind of like this one better, but what I did in, in both of them is I took, um, this is Old Olive, so I put Old Olive in the middle, and this is um, Pumpkin Pie, and I put Pumpkin Pie down here. That is funny. That's not what I was thinking I was doing. It doesn't matter. It still looks really good. I've, I've repeated the colors, and that's uh, a really good thing to do in design. So... So much for that little story. And again, it is on dimensional, so it looks really pretty in person. Well, that is it, you guys. This is our Sunday night. Make it and mail it. I will be back on Wednesday night because I'm not traveling for a while. And I'm going to try to get in as many Wednesday nights as I can till we move to Tennessee. And then there might be a little bit of a lag, um, but hopefully not, not, not too bad. So if you have these products at home, make a card and do two things. Post it on my Facebook page. I would love to see your cards. And then secondly, mail it to someone. Thank a friend for being a friend. Thank a friend for just being who they are. If th That word stamp has so many really good words. You can thank someone. You can w just send them a happy hello. A ha you can send them a happy birthday. There's so many things that you can do with a stamp set. So it's a really good one. Biggest Wishes is a really, really good stamp set. I love it, and I've used it a lot. All righty, you guys. That's my shameless plug. Love you guys. Miss you guys. I know this coming weekend, Karen is doing her first uh, stamp class, and I am so excited at all the people that are going. You guys are going to really be blessed. 
Kieran has a different style, but she's a very, very creative person and you will really enjoy her work. And I'm very, very excited to and, and at peace knowing that I'm leaving the sunny state of Florida, but I'm leaving all of my local stampers in really good hands. From you non-local people, follow me on Facebook or on um, YouTube. Every once in a while I post on uh, Instagram under Trish Card Clubs. I mean, yeah, Trish Card Club. Um and those of you guys who are local, I want you to follow me so I'll know that I'll know what's going on in your life. All right. That's it, you guys. I really am going to wrap up. They're starting to sing the song, so I got to go. I love you guys. Have a good week. Remember to make it and mail it, and I'll see you on Wednesday night.